Hey, what's going on, everybody? Your boy, DJ City Manos. Had to get something to eat. Now it's time to go home, eat, and then unload my stuff. I got my stuff still in the car. I think that's the beauty about having a garage. <laughs> you have a garage and you can just park and go to sleep. The party was over at 1. I got home at 3 because it was way out there in the middle of nowhere. It's in Buckeye. I think it was like an hour away from where I live. And um, so I got home at 3 and I just went to sleep. And just woke up like 11. <laughs> and the lifestyle of the DJ. I should call my channel that, huh? The lifestyle of the DJ. Because a lot of people don't um, don't know that we do have a weird lifestyle. Like the things that we do to prepare ourselves, you know. Let's go around the block. So um, let's talk about the gig. Let's break it down. The gig last night, you know, it was um, interesting. Um, the birthday girl turned 18. She sent me a huge playlist, around 500 songs. And most of it was, uh, a lot of stuff, man. Hers, her, man, this girl should be a DJ. She has some good music on there. So, um, what I did was, um, of course I broke it down. I made a couple mixes here and there. And that's why I was kind of, I didn't really record much videos because I was, um, busy I was busy um, preparing myself, getting the mixes ready. You saw 5-0. Make sure 5-0 doesn't come back. Um, just make sure, uh, I was making sure, I made sure that I, I got all my mixes ready. And I had enough mixes to get me through the night. But um, they threw a curveball at me. They, um, <laughs> I wasn't planning on playing uh, Spanish music and they just threw a curveball. And here was a sm small details that you, you, you should ask. Um, the dad was Puerto Rican and the mom is Mexican and I didn't know this you know I didn't know this information and you ask why why is that information important um because we have different different kind of style of music um Puerto Ricans like merengue they like um bachata they like reggaeton and Mexicans like corridos rancheras banda you know we have different tastes in music you know so that information is important. And I don't really ask people, what are you? You know, they just, you know. But they told me in the, towards the end, because I, I was asking for a lot of Bad Bunny. And I was asking for a lot of Bad Bunny. And there was one song that I, um, you know, they asked for. And they, he, he, he kind of told me, he goes, yeah, you know, you're, you're playing a lot of good jams. And they kind of told me, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm Puerto Rican. And I was like, oh, dang. I said, cool. You know, so, but that was a song that we were requesting. They were requesting a lot of reggaeton. And they threw a curveball because I was planning on playing just, um, you know, English music. Like hip-hop, R&B, trap. But it was cool, man. It was, um, it went from 0 to 100 around, um, around 10 o'clock. The, the, the birthday girl had a bunch of her friends. And that's the way it is with teens, man. They don't want to dance. They're just chilling. So I was playing a lot of trap. All the requests they asked for, I played. And then towards the later, they just straight up out of nowhere, the birthday girl came and said, can you play the cha-cha slide? And I wasn't expecting that. I was like, the what? The cha-cha slide? I said, sure. But she didn't call it the cha-cha slide. She goes, that song, the one that says to the left, to the left, to the right, to the right. And I was like, oh, the cha-cha slide? She goes, yeah. I said, yeah, I played it. When I played that, everybody came out of nowhere. The the, the parents, the the cousins, everybody. They just came out. I was like, where did all these people come from? <laughs> and and they said, now they just had a bunch of people on the dancing. And then from then, it, just, it went from the cha-cha slide. I didn't even mix them. I just played the Cupid Shuffle. Um, I like playing uh, the one with DJ Unk in it. Um, the Cupid Shuffle. Look at look up look up for that look up that one. It has DJ Unk. I like that one. Um, so I played that one and then like I said the people were just they were having a good time and I just had, um, was reading their lips they were um, saying songs throwing out songs in the air like can you play you know and I looked at reading their lips okay it's coming up next <laughs> and uh, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was pretty cool it just, it just got crazy and um, here's the funny thing about it they wanted to sing and when you get tipsy she straight up and grabbed my the mic and I got a six foot mic cable 
and I didn't take the, the the wireless mic with me. I, I left it. So she wanted to sing, and I was like, uh, "My cord is small," and it's funny because my I didn't even have the mic on, and she thought it was she was the mic was on. She was singing, but it's just the echo. It's the echo in her house, you know. And I was like, "Okay, I should unplug the mic." Say it's a wireless mic. Go ahead, have fun, <laughs> you know. It was funny. But they kept on tapping on the mic. Like, is it on? They keep tapping it. That's when they realized it wasn't on. <laughs> uh, that was funny. So I, maybe I should get one of those uh, X, 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 what is it called? X5 or whatever it's called. X5. I don't know. Those little connectors. And in case they want a wireless mic, I just hooked it up. <laughs> but I was like, man, I, I don't have my wireless mic. It happened twice. Um, at two of my parties, they wanted to um, use my mic to sing. And I like I don't, I just have a six foot cable. As I left my wireless at home, I don't take the wireless unless I, it's like um, you know I think they're gonna make announcements. I always take the wireless, but for house parties like that, I don't take it, you know. But I was like, dope. Maybe I should have brought it. <laughs> so it was funny though. Um, that's about it. Um. As soon as I get home, I'm going to eat. I'm going to unload everything like I always do. Set it all up. And I'm going to break down the playlist. The playlist that she gave me. And uh, she gave me a lot of good music. A lot of good stuff. And uh, my next gig is in February. So I'm going to be having some downtime. And in the meantime, I'm going to start organizing my uh, crates. I'm going to delete a lot of stuff. A lot of gigs from last year. I'm going to just delete those crates. I'm going to keep the um, the mixes though. I'm, I'm going to delete the crates. And just organize it so I'm gonna get ready um, just for the next one synchronize my hard drives what else am I gonna do I just you know stuff that I always do like when I have some downtime uh, practice more mixes I'm gonna throw another mix up online uh, I'm gonna try to do a mix online every every um, every month this this mix I'm gonna do online is gonna be funk remember I told you guys I'm gonna probably put up the funk one um, I like the way the funk mix came out I'm gonna do that um, and that's about it. I'm just gonna get 20 songs from the funk music. I probably throw in some a couple new ones like uh, um, Bruno Mars. He has like, two, two songs that I like. They're like funk music, and um, I might throw in um, that that one girl that sings Lotto. Have you heard that song Lotto? And there's another song that I heard on the radio. It sounds like the message. It has a message beat. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna see if I could try to get it. I'm gonna add it to the funk mix. Yeah, I'm, I, I heard it. I was like, this sounds like the message. From, you know, remember that song, the message, um, the one that says, "Don't push me, I'm close to the edge." That one right there. Um, so I'm gonna look for those two songs, so, and that's about it. Now I'm just gonna just get ready. I'm getting home. I'm gonna eat my grub right now. I just. When I got some grub, I'm looking for five volt. Five volt gonna pull me over because I have the phone right here when driving. <laughs> yeah, and I let you guys know what's what I got in what I have in mind. Oh, let me give it a, a real quick response to Moose. Moose asked me about my um, Bluetooth device. He says, uh, "Did you use it?" Uh, I did not use it, um, and I was when I was packing up my stuff. I did not use it neither because I didn't have the, the, the plug. Remember I told you I need to get that um that mini ox little connection to a uh, quarter inch. I didn't have it so I did, did not use it. And I'm not going to use it at gigs. I only use it when I pack up my stuff and for backup. That's all I'm going to use it for. I'm not gonna, really going to use it for um, the DJ unless, um, unless it's a super, 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 super real quick gig or something. I just say, eh, I'm not going to take all my stuff. Just take this. Or, you know, if I'm just chilling, doing something, you know. But besides that, yeah, I haven't used it. Um, yeah, I'm going to, and that's all I use is for the house only when I hook up my stuff. I don't want to turn on everything. So, yeah, this is your boy. <sighs> I'm getting home right now. And I got the dang heater on. I didn't even realize it. I'm going to sweat in my car. It is cold. It's like, no, nah, it's not that cold. It's like 58 degrees. It's beautiful out there. Look at that classic. Woohoo! Oh, look. They got the trash coming. I got to get my Christmas tree out. <laughs> they got the bulk trash. I, save it in my, I was saving my Christmas tree too for the bulk trash. 
Alright, this is your boy. I should get it out there today then. I am out. Peace.